Some people may be living for God now, and some of them may believe living for God is difficult, which I believe it is difficult as well. So some people may believe going back to sin will make life easier, which I believe is so untrue. So let's go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. So what is this saying? I believe this is saying, if we choose to do wrong, there is a punishment. Okay. If that is true, if you do wrong, how is it easier than trying to live for God. If we are going to reap whatever we sow, if I do good and good will come to me, if I do bad and bad return to me, so if I choose to do good, How is doing bad going to be easier for me? Yes, bad things may happen to me because I am trying to live for God. Okay. But how is going back to sin going to make my life easier? If I am going to reap what I sow, man, please listen. Please, please listen. Trying to live for God may be difficult. Okay, I understand. It may be difficult. But how is going back to sin going to make your life easier? If I am going to reap what I sow. Man. What if I believe the problem is maybe you aren't able to connect the bad things you do with the bad things that I believe that happens to you. But what if you were able to connect them? What if you had like some type of paper or graph or something like that Connecting the bad things you do, for an example, connecting the bad things you do with the punishments, for an example. If you were to see everything bit by bit, or I mean as a whole, would you be motivated or excited to do wrong? I think not. Let's go to Proverbs 13 and 15. And please follow along. If you have a Bible or if you have something on you to read along. Okay. Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of transgressors is hard. So what is a transgressor? Let's look it up. So let me type it in right quick. Maybe it will say transgression. I'm not sure if it would have transgressor. Okay. So here I see transgressor. For anyone who violates a rule or oversteps a boundary. So pretty much in Bible terms, 
I believe a transgressor is a sinner. So what is the second half of Proverbs 13 and 15 saying? But the way of transgressors is hard. So pretty much, I guess I can say the life of a transgressor, the ways of a sinner is hard. So you may believe living for God is difficult, and I believe it is as well. But how much more difficult is living in sin is? Or did I say that right? But how much more difficult is living in sin? I believe it is much more difficult. So... Try to live for God. If you fail, don't give up. I believe everyone won't do everything right. I believe we are going to fail in some areas. But don't let that distract you from trying to do what is right. Never give up. Never surrender. Let me stop here. God bless you.